Yeah, so we'll start with what's in the box. So we actually ordered, you can't tell it now, but there's actually four cameras in this box and four of the spotlights. Don't mind the Valentines that my kids made. <laughs> but there was four spotlights, four cameras inside of this box, which this box is roughly six inches by six inches probably. <clears throat> so now what we did was you can buy SD cards from uh, from Wise, but we actually bought a 10 pack off of Amazon. I think it was 60 bucks for 10 32 gigabyte SD cards, which is about half the price if you were to opposed to buying them from Wise directly. So anyway, when you open up the box, so they're both taped or sealed, I guess you could call it. Pretty easy. Open up the box. All right, it comes with a quick start guide. And of course, the camera. So when you open this up, your camera's right here. You'll rip this open. That's the only way to get it off. It doesn't come off any other way. And then this is the camera right here. So you can spin it around. You put this whatever way you want. Right, point this up, down, side to side, whatever. Pretty good setup. And then, of course, the uh, this is a micro SD, or sorry, micro USB cable. And it actually comes with the one you need right here. So, micro USB, and then normal USB on the other side. And comes with the power adapter. Comes with a, if you don't have a magnetic surface, because this base is magnetic, right? So like in our barn, we're gonna mount them on the metal siding or on the metal roofing, either one. We're not gonna drill into it or anything like that. So, and then it also comes with screw, if you want it, you know, so you can mount this to the wall for instance right so you put the screw through here mount it to the wall and then you can put that on there the other thing you can do is it comes with double-sided 3m tape so you could stick this to the metal oops you could stick this to the metal and then peel this off and stick it to the wall and then you'd still have your metal to go against um, we're not doing any of that but again it is an option if you so choose. So, um, the spotlight, kind of the same concept. <clears throat> Only difference being is that it's just a smaller box because it's a smaller device. But comes with the adapter so that this, basically the spotlight and the camera together will only use one plug. This is a splitter. So you'll plug that USB, uh, that micro USB into here that comes from the wall. And then one of these will go to the camera. The long one will go to the um, uh, to the spotlight, and then the short one right here will go to your camera. Both of them are micro USB. I didn't show you this, but this has got double-sided 3M tape. Peel this off, and then you are going to stick this right on top of here. And this is how it work. I suppose you could mount it somewhere else if you chose to, but this definitely works the easiest. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how it works or how it goes together. Um, there is a screw hole here. I forgot to mention that earlier. <clears throat> so you could also put your screw into the wall and then use this keyhole here to put the screw on it to hold it in place if you wanted to mount it on your wall that way. Um, other than that, I'm ready to go mount these. We've got five of them that we're going to mount in the barn, and then we've got a couple that we're going to put in the house. So... So uh, let's go ahead and go get those mounted so we can check them out on the app. Uh, 
So to give you a fair comparison, everybody else is sleeping right now. I'm actually going to go outside. I'm going to take this hose out there because it is so cold right now. Um, the low, la the last several days has been in the either zero range or single digits or just below zero with the wind chill. Well, anyways, it's so cold that the hose will freeze even with the automatic water set up with a small trough where it's moving water pretty quick or pretty often. It still freezes, so we have to go out there and water them. Well, it's three o'clock right now in the morning. I'm gonna go out there and water them. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna set this camera. So this camera right here is a GoPro Hero 8. So pretty good camera, pretty good picture quality. We're gonna compare light, you know, how well it can see in the dark compared to how well the wise cameras can see in the dark. Because the wise cameras are 20 bucks and a GoPro Hero 8 is like $300. So I figured that'll be a pretty nice comparison for you guys. So we're gonna put them side by side. I'm actually gonna mount them directly next to each other on the wall. So let me get this hose out there and I'll see you in the barn. So as you may or may not be able to tell, the video on your left is going to be from the GoPro Hero 8. The video on your right is going to be from the Wisecam V3. Now, I do completely understand that they are completely different purpose cameras. This is simply for comparison and just to show you what you're getting for 20 bucks. Because honestly, I was very skeptical myself. I had a hard time believing that that camera for 20 bucks and as tiny as it was with the features that it offered was actually going to be worth the, the $20. I really didn't believe it. So at this point, I want you to see it for yourselves. For the rest of the comparison, I'm going to do a voiceover because with the animals, it was incredibly hard to hear what I was saying. This clip right here is just showing the IR only from the camera and there's no barn lights on, there's no spotlights from any of the cameras on, there's no ambient light as it's cloudy out. This is just simply night vision IR only. Of course, you can see the IR from the camera in the background or the cameras in the background, but I'm going to turn those off as well here in the next clip so you can see what it's like with just one camera's worth of IR. So in this clip, you're gonna see that the spotlight, we turned it on for the camera that is right here by us only, the one that the GoPro is mounted next to for the moment. The other lights in the background of the barn are, you know, the IR lights from the camera that are mounted on the walls all the way down. The camera can pick, it's amazing the amount of light it picks up because the light that's on it, the spotlight, it looks like it's really bright on the camera. But in reality, like my naked eye, I can barely see. It's like a nightlight from your kid's room or you know, the equivalent of a full moon on a nice clear night, there's not a lot of light. Um, you know, I can see the lambs in this pin right here to the right, um, I can see them. If you zoom in, um, so like that hay bale, I cannot see it from, you know, with my naked eye, but you can obviously see it very clearly with the camera. Again, the lambs right here on your right, I could barely see them. And I mean, like I could see they're there, but you know, if I didn't know they were in there, I really wouldn't necessarily be able to tell that that's what it was. Um, like I said, the spotlight is not very bright, but it is more than bright enough for this camera to get a very good, clear picture from it, in color at that. The You can see on the GoPro side, it's picking up absolutely nothing, but, you know, a few, about 15 seconds ago, you saw it picked up the camera, or picked up the phone that was in my hand on the camera, that's it. I mean, it's picking up nothing. It's just that dull of a light. But need to say plenty for what that camera needs. But back to night vision now. Now the night vision is picking up IR lights again. It's still picking up the IR lights in the back from the other cameras that are mounted. So um, I don't want you to get the wrong idea that you know it can see 100, this barn is 140 feet long and 40 feet wide. I don't want you to think that the IR light reaches that far. It, uh, I mean, it, it reaches a good ways, and we're going to turn those lights off on the other cameras so you can see exactly what it'll do here real quick. 
Um, just wanted to give understand you know what we're doing here. So let me turn those IR lights off on the other cameras real quick. This is how far it can see with one camera's IR. The veil that you see there in front of us is 35 feet away. Notice the GoPro don't pick anything up because it doesn't pick up IR. But at 35 feet away, I still think that's very clear for night vision. Um, you know, you, you can see here, I'll turn the lights on. And then it takes a second for the night vision to turn off and to turn back on whenever you change the light like that. But just a little quick comparison of daylight versus darkness as far as vision goes. Very clear picture still. 35 feet from that bale to the camera where it's mounted and the camera itself is 10 feet above the ground as well. Both of them are mounted right next to each other. Turn these lights back off. There you go. Hey, that's what I was talking about. With this. It's just a real short delay. But GoPro don't pick anything up for that. So I'm gonna go through the features real quick just to kind of show you what all it offers. So right here, you can go into the settings and you can detect motion, you can detect sound. These are all the different things that it'll detect and create a recording event. The other things you can do is notifications. So it'll send push notifications to your phone if you want them. Um, detection settings, so you can set a zone inside the camera frame. So like wherever you want the zone to be, you can make the box bigger or smaller to pick up you know, motion or sound coming from that area and you can even set the sensitivity. Pretty nice features. The alarm settings, so like if it hears a CO2 alarm or smoke alarm in the background, it'll notify you. This is the advanced settings, so here you can do all your night vision settings, you can do, um, you can rotate the camera 180 degrees, there's a lot of abilities with this camera. I mean, it, it, it really does have a lot of things that are nice. You can um, change how your night vision set. So if you want the near IR set on so it doesn't show any red lights on the front of the camera, you can do that. If you have the far one on, it will show um, four little red dots and they're faint. I mean, you'd really have to look for them to actually notice them. But if somebody was up to no good, if it was used as a security camera, I can see why you wouldn't want to leave them on because they're probably looking for cameras. But overall, um, very good product, very happy with it. Uh, let's see here, what else? Um, oh, we talked about the rotate, but it, it, like I said, if you have it mounted upside down like we have our other cameras in the barn, if you click this rotate 180, it'll flip the image 180 degrees. So if you have the camera mounted upside down, you, know, you click that and it'll flip it over. So this camera is actually right side up, so me clicking it turned my image upside down. So I'm gonna fix it and put it back, just showing you feature you can do um, you can turn the wise logo off if you want you can turn the uh, time stuff off you can have it record sound you can not have it record sound I mean a lot of really good features for for 20 bucks and it's free because there's no subscription unless you want to use the subscription to be able to record continuously but you can do the same thing with an SD card um, and I'm actually going to show you the image from the SD card here shortly but you can create your own rules, so like if you want it to tell you whatever, you know, there's a lot of things that you can customize and set to fit your needs. If you have accessories plugged into it, so like we've got the spotlight plugged into it, that's the only accessory I know of. But if you have the spotlight plugged into it, you go in here and you can change whether it's on at dark, you can turn it to where it's on only during motion events. I mean, you can, you can customize a lot of things about it. It's uh, pretty nice. I don't know why this is not showing the next screen yet. There it goes. The uh, you can you can change the brightness level so you can make it even lower light. You can make it bright like it was before, which even on the high setting, I mean, like I said, it's like a night light. It barely puts out any light, but it's more than enough for the camera. Uh, let's see here. I mean, for the most part, the the features really speak for themselves as far as what you can change and modify and you know it's it's really a pretty cool setup for what it'll let you do um, 
you know, update the cameras to let it, or let it update to probably get more features that Wise will push out in time, I would assume. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, this is, you know, so with the night light on, you know, you got color night vision. Um, this is the sound from the camera, which I turned it off because I had to do this voiceover, but you can hear decently. Um, you could also speak, so if you press this microphone button, you can speak to the animals or to somebody that's outside if you wanted to, or your kids or whatever. Um, turn that stuff back off here. There we go. And you, if you see that little light deal in the top, you can turn your light on and off. This is the more features that was the three dots right here to your right. So you can turn the alarm on or the siren noise on. I turn it off right away. It's just a annoying noise. Probably good for burglars, about it. These are all your cameras, so you can switch to all the cameras. Um, you know, it'll load them. We actually have a Wi Fi repeater that's broadcasting to our barn in order to um, give us what we need. So I'm turning the night vision back on since we had it off for that video earlier. But, I mean, you can see very well. There's those flakes that aren't even really like you can't see them with the human eye but you can see them on this camera for whatever reason it's just apparently that sensitive um, pretty cool what it picks up though uh, so right here I don't have the night vision on but you can see it's picking up IR light from the other cameras so we'll go ahead and turn that on there we go So we'll go back through here, change all of our settings back. This is with the spotlight on again, just to give you a quick comparison. You know, I mean, it's no matter what you're looking at, it's just very good quality image for, especially for what it is for the price and everything. The spotlights are ten bucks or nine ninety nine, and then the camera's nineteen ninety nine. So, but turn everything on and off, and you can do everything from the app. Um, the only thing you actually can't do from the app is well. You can and you can't. You can't. So, like, if I had an issue with the camera not wanting to pick up Wi Fi, I'm just going through and changing my settings back. You can change the name too, by the way, even after you name it. But you, you cannot turn the cameras on and off if you're not connected to them. So, let's say that the Wi Fi, for whatever reason, it didn't connect back to it. You actually have to go and either unplug the camera or turn the breaker off that the cameras are on. You have to take the power away from the cameras, basically, and turn them back on. You can't do it through the app if it won't connect. That is the only downside that I see. But if you know that you're going to you know, do something with the uh, Wi-Fi, I guess, just know that you're probably going to have to go out there and or go and unplug them or reset them by turning the breaker on and off. Like I said, that is the only thing that was... I mean, it's not a problem. It's just inconvenient. The only thing that I didn't like, like I said, was just that the snowflake looking deals that go across the front of the screen that are dust particles that you can't even see with the human eye pretty much. I guess you could, like if you took a flashlight and you shine it up in the air, you know, you can see the dust particles and stuff going through the air. That's what it's picking up. Um, this is with the lights on and the whole barn. Um, just amazing what this thing will actually pick up. Uh, let's see here. So the clip in the lower left is directly from the SD card from the Wise Cam V3. And like I said, I mean, the camera it is amazing how well it can see in the dark because the human eye can't see that well. Um, the GoPro can pick up the lights in the background, that's it. Whereas me standing in the barn with my naked eye, I could see, you know, like I said before, like it's a moonlight, you know, a full moon night. Um, you know, that's about how bright it is. The GoPro can't pick up enough to even make a picture. Essentially, all it can see is the lights. But you can... It's amazing that this camera can pick it up like that and make it look like daylight. I mean, absolutely amazing. Very good job by the Wise team, and just can't believe how well they've done. So in this clip, this is the driveway, basically, and the camera is outside in the elements and everything and there's no there's you know it's cloud cover just like it was earlier in the video 
the ground is snow covered, but we're very rural and there's very, very, very little light out here. We have no outside lights that stay on all the time. You can see our neighbor's lights that are on the horizon. That's almost a thousand meters away. I mean, it's a good hike to that and it can pick that up very well. So now here's a day clip showing the exact same setup, exact same spot and everything, flag waving. Um, I mean, it's just amazing what that thing can see at night with no light given to it. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, you can oh, you can see on here that you can go to view playback and back and forth on the app and see where you want to see. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. And other than that, have a blessed week, and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video.